Hi everyone, this is Kate from the blog Educational Technology, and today I'm going to show you how I learned to use the drag and drop macro in PowerPoint, and how I learned to embed YouTube videos into PowerPoint to create my morning calendar for my interactive whiteboard. This macro was created by Hoffman and Simone, and I learned about it through Joe Dale's blog, and he created this, well he didn't create it, but he adapted this PowerPoint originally created by Joe Rice Jones, and then Joe Dale, he adapted it and modified it to make it run better in newer versions of PowerPoint. So here we have the magic PowerPoint, and he has very great instructions about how you would um, go about using this, so you can click through here and read these. It already has the macro in it. So you would use this as your template, you would change the slides, you delete all the ones except the ones he tells you not to, and then um, the macro is already there. So it really simplifies things for you. So this is the original form of the PowerPoint. This is what I came up with. Okay, so I went through, I deleted all his slides, I made all my changes, and I added my content. Now. Here I have an attendance chart, a home and school chart. I have, um, so I have some blank name templates here. You can go back and add your students' names in once you get your class list. Um, to use the macro, you would click on the object that you want to use. You would go to the Insert tab. Then you would go to Action. And you would click the button that says Run Macro. And then in the drop down menu, you would choose the drag and drop macro and hit OK. Now, this is going to enable your students to click on it, drag it, click again to drop it. Okay. Some other things that I did with this was that I created a calendar, and they can drag and drop the days in. Um, they can write over top of this with your interactive whiteboard pen to do the days and numbers. And I also have enabled the drag and drop on the days of the week so they can drag them to tell you what today is. So today is Monday actually. Yesterday was Sunday and tomorrow will be Tuesday. So they can drag and drop these days of the week. Okay. I also was able to embed some YouTube videos from Harry Kindergarten. I love his stuff and I use it a lot in my classroom. And I'm going to be talking and showing you how to do that next. Okay. So other slides I made were just some simple weather slides where the kids can drag and drop weather icons. And again, I have another video here embedded. Um, it's another Harry Kindergarten clip, and this is a short weather clip. Oh, okay, and then on my next slide, we have some basic stuff for number math. So with our interactive whiteboard pen, you can write how many days you've been in school. If, say, it was the 100th and 12th day of school, you could drag your place value box. Then you could drag your money, so we would have a dollar, a dime, and two pennies. And then you can drag your tally marks. I'm not going to drag them all over, um, but for the sake of time. But you could save this from day to day, and then um, just drag over one new ones place cube and one penny, and make one tally mark um, for each day. And my plan is, you know, to draw the four tally marks. Um, until you get up to five, and then I would just drag and drop a five over. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put a YouTube video in. So you saw I did that twice. Now you need to make sure 
that when you go into PowerPoint, you have this developer tab, and that is not a default setting. So what you would need to do is to go to PowerPoint options, and when you have, see this here, show developer tab and ribbon, you want to have that clicked. Then you would hit OK, and then you would see the developer tab open up. So then you would want to click on this toolbox. And you're going to scroll down to the S's and you're going to find Shockwave Flash Object and click OK. Then you would draw the box however big you wanted it. Then you're going to click Properties and you would go into YouTube then and find your video. You can, this is another Harry Kindergarten one that I love and my kids really enjoy. So you would just copy Control C the URL. You would go back to your PowerPoint and here where it says movie you would paste and now there's a couple tricks. So wherever you see this watch question mark you're gonna delete that and wherever you see um, an equal sign you're gonna put in a slash. And then if you don't want it to play repeatedly on loop, you would hit false. And if you want to be able to click on it to start it, you're um, going to hit false on that one too. Otherwise, it'll start playing immediately when you start that slide. And you would close that. And then you could start your presentation. And we'll go see our video and it says you might get a warning you just want to click and say you recognize and allow it to play and hit continue and now you have your video now one one important point is you have to have the internet capable on your computer otherwise these won't load all right so that is all of what I learned today and I'm Glad I could share it with you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for viewing my video. Please check out my blog, Educational Technology. Follow me on Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks. Have a good day.